Business exits, what are they and why should you care? Hi, I'm Andrew Ford, the attractionist and the CEO of Social Star. And I specialize in working with small businesses or entrepreneurs who want to launch new businesses and have a 12 week program specifically designed to do so. But one thing I always talk to them about is, what is the plan for the end before we start at the beginning? And you might think, why even think about the exit when you haven't even got the business yet or you've just started? And the reason is this, it matters how you set up the business in order to sell or whatever the exit is. I was talking to a client called Daniel recently and coaching him on his blogging and we were talking all about this topic and it really reminded me how important it is. So I just want to tell you a couple of different things about exits. First of all, a lot of people who are running businesses that they're really passionate about, and they're the people I love the most, by the way, that, oh, I don't want to sell my business, I want to keep going, I'll run it forever. You know what? There is no forever. One day, you're going to die, you're going to retire, you're going to be getting out. What do you do? So, there's about five ways you can exit a business, and it's not exactly how you might think. So, the traditional one is what I call a trade sale. You sell your business to another interested or related party, and that's the main type of uh, exit. Now, if you set up that way, you've got to set your accounting up and your share system in order to make that easy. You also have to consider your intellectual property because that's really what they're buying. If people buy those companies, often that do not buy the shares or the company name, what they buy is the assets of the company so they don't have to experience any of the negative consequences of the actual company. So just think about that. Another way to do it is a share listing. So that's an exit where you get money out of the business by selling your business on the share market. Now, for most of us, that's not really gonna happen. These are 10 to $100 million businesses. It's a long, complex process out of, a, out of the world for most companies. Number three, you can just close it down. You can just close the doors, turn it off, and that is that. And you get zero value for the actual goodwill and so forth in your business. But you'd be surprised how many companies actually exit that way. I know my family company did exactly that. They closed the doors, sold the stock, that's all I got. Another way you might want to do it is hand it down to your family. And there's a lot of companies who want to do this. So if you do that, that's a very different set of ways of setting up your business accounting wise than if you want to trade sell. So you've got to really consider how that might work. And the last way that you can exit your business is actually to sell it to another related party. Now that could be a friend, it could be the existing shareholders, it could be absorbed amongst the people already there, or even, you know what, it could be the staff members, a management takeover. If you do it that way, you've got to consider things like options and tax and those types of things as well. So there you go, there's five different ways to exit your business, some of which you probably haven't even thought about. In the next video, I'm going to talk about professional advice. I recommend, highly recommend, you see a good accountant to get advice before you start your business. I'm Sir Ford. Put your comments down below, any questions and any topics you want me to discuss for the future, and I look forward to seeing you next time.